Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about the power of the gospel. What's the best excuse you've ever come up with? Uh, what's the reason you've given to excuse bad behavior in your life? As a parent, I think I've probably heard virtually every excuse in the book for such a wide variety of both sin and simple accidents. But here's the problem. The problem is with excuses, they do not deal with or remedy the problem. Our greatest problem is sin. We need a fixer to fix that greatest problem. And that's what we want to talk about today as we continue our study of the book of Galatians. Here's what Paul writes in Galatians chapter 2, beginning in verse 15. We ourselves are Jews by birth and not Gentile sinners. When he says this, he is talking about himself, Peter, and any Jewish Christians. These are the people who are born Jewish. Now that's pretty straightforward. But then he says and not Gentile sinners. That probably sounds a little odd, if not even a little bit offensive. Well, according to Jews, Gentiles were sinners by nature because they had no law to guide them in proper living and how to please God. This had nothing to do with one people group being sinless and another people group being sinful. The Jews were God's chosen people. They were children of the Abrahamic covenant, but they were still sinners. But the difference between Gentiles and Jews, as Paul is referring to here, it's the law that guided them. I think we need to be really careful to never forget that we are all sinners in need of a savior. The religious elite would point back to their heritage. Remember, that's what Paul did in Philippians. He said, hey, I'm a Jew of the Jews. I was born into the right family. I have the right degrees. Look at my background. Look at what I've accomplished. But then he flips the script on its head and says, but all that, it's garbage. That means nothing because ultimately nothing we do Nothing from our past, nothing from our ancestry can save us. It's ultimately the blood of Christ. In fact, this is what Paul will really hit home in verse 16. Yet we know that a person is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. So we also have believed in Christ Jesus in order to be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law because by works of the law, no one will be justified. I hope you just saw what Paul said. Paul said in three different ways that we are not saved because of what we can do, but rather we are justified by what Jesus Christ has done. No amount of rule following can make a person righteous before God. No amount of law abiding can make us justified before Him. Justified is a legal term. It means to be declared righteous or without blame. It's like a judge hitting his gavel and saying, I find no fault in this man or this woman. They may go free. So Paul says a person is not justified by works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Now that first statement is general. No one can be saved by their own good works. Why? Well, because the Bible declares it and history confirms it. There is none righteous, no, not even one. No one seeks after God. We are all sinners. According to Paul in Ephesians 2, we are dead in our trespasses and sins. Dead things can't do anything because they're dead. They need help. They need a fixer, or better yet, they need a savior. Paul is reminding us today that we cannot save ourselves. 
Everyone is born a sinner in need of a Savior. Religion won't save you. Your family heritage or faith background will not save you. Christ saves each person individually as a gift through faith. Do you believe it? Look, you can't earn it. You can't buy it. You can't win it. Salvation is a gift alone. Paul said it three times in one verse. We need to believe it, and then, friend, we need to live it.